switches. This video shows how to program a right. linear or a Chamberlain remote. Hello and welcome to Kung Fu Maintenance. Today I'm going to show you how to program dip switches. Um, what you got is a series of numbers of switches here underneath. And you know, you got an on or an off setting. Now, if you want to program a garage remote that has uh, the garage has a dip switch setting, um, what you'll need to do is match the exact sequence of numbers that you have for your dip switches. The number one position would e either be on or off. You can see this little symbol here is on, and uh, the other one is off. And maybe you can't really read it that well, but uh, this one one would be on, two would be off. Okay, and what you want to do is match that. So if you need to change these little numbers, sometimes you'll need like a little finishing nail or something that you can push them easier to switch the numbers to make it work out. Now this one is an eight dip switch. That means it has eight switches on it. And today I'm going to be showing you programming the Chamberlain dip switch. You can see the dip switches back here. And this one actually has about 11 settings so it starts on the left side with number one and then up is on and down would be off and this one is much more you know a finishing nail works really good to be able to get in there and change your settings now with this particular setup if you have uh, an eight dip switch you would turn the remaining switches to the off position as long as you turn those last ones to the off position, uh, this remote will actually work with an 8-dip switch, even though this has, oh, about 12, yeah, 12 dips uh, in it. So you would just turn the last four off, and you would program the first eight, and on or off, on or off, matching uh, your existing code. With the Chamberlain remote, well, with the linear remote, once you program your 8-dip switches, it should work with your receiver. Uh, but with the um, Chamberlain remote, you have, to, you have to go through the next setting, which is uh, when you're by your garage, you're going to push your learn code button, and it's going to start beeping here. And then I'll, I'll go ahead and show you here. You hold it down. And then whichever button you're going to program to your dip switch, you're going to press it that amount of times for whichever uh, gate or uh, garage you're going to do. So for a Chamberlain it's 18 and um, there's a list of in the uh, instructions or you can find it online on the Chamberlain uh, remote website as well. But anyway you're going to push it the number of times. So mine would be 18. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way to 18. Once you reach 18 the remote, the garage or the gate should respond and when it does you'll push the learn code button again and that will lock in or memorize the code and now every time you push your button it should open your gate and close your gate uh, correspondingly so anyway that's um, programming the dip switches on a Chamberlain remote or on a linear uh, remote or an 8 dip switch or using um, how you can actually use a uh, larger dip switch setting you're just going to turn the remaining ones to the off position and uh, 99 times out of 100 that's it and it works and you match your settings now if you run into a situation where you've set your settings uh, and you've matched it to your deal and it doesn't work uh, no matter what you do you try programming it and da, 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 da. what you might try is reversing it changing off and on exact same pattern before but uh, going the exact opposite and then again try the learn code uh, button to switch it up um, but anyway and you can find more information about this on the Chamberlain uh, website I don't work for Chamberlain or anything I just think this is a great little remote pretty cool because you can program more than one gate or more than one garage uh, with the same uh, clicker and you can program it for a smart learn code button or for a dip switch uh, set up. Anyway, thanks for watching. Kung Fu Maintenance. Over and out. Oh, and if you want to see how to program using the Learn Code button, check my video on how to program uh, a Chamberlain Universal Clicker 
uh, for a learn code button. Okay, and here you can see me operating the gate with it. You hear that little click. It's engaged. Uh, my gate's set open during the day, so uh, but it's enough to show you that it is working.